Town in South Africa. I now want to go across to Pooja Talwar, who has a very special father-daughter duo with her. Ajit Bajaj and his 17-year-old daughter have skied across the Greenland ice cap, and this has been in special association with the Greenathon. We are the youngest to have done this. They took the Greenathon flag with them during the expedition. Pooja, over to you, Ajit, his daughter. We are at uh, Delhi Select City Mall, our hub for the third edition of uh, NDTV's Toyota Greenathon. And I'm joined by two very special guests, Ajit Bajaj and his daughter, Dia, who are just back from Greenland. So if Milinth ran for 550 kilometers in over 45 degrees uh, uh, centigrade, they skied down 550 kilometers in minus 45 degrees. Am I right? Absolutely. <laughs> so could you tell us a bit uh, about your experience, like 19 days skiing down Greenland? Well, we started on the, on the west coast of Greenland, um, on, on the Greenlandic um, ice cap. And we skied um, up to about 30 kilometers every day uh, to the east coast, to a small Eskimo village called Isortok. Um, and it um, was a fantastic experience. We, we didn't stop. We, we had blizzards, we had high wind speeds and, um, um, you know, we completed the journey in 19, 19 days. So did you notice any effects of climate change there? As you said, you did see ground zero where it's all happening. So we've been to Greenland before on a sea kayaking expedition on the west coast. And over there, it was surprising to see the number of mosquitoes that there were there. And this is actually because the temperature in Greenland um, has actually been, it's um, gone up by four degrees Fahrenheit. And we also spoke to the local people there, the Eskimos, and they told us about how they couldn't go seal hunting in the winter anymore because all the um, ice on the sea had, wasn't, didn't freeze anymore. And also like, what are the people there doing? I'm sure they're aware of, you know, the global warming and the effect that's happening. It's, uh, that it has on our environment. So what are they doing about it? Um, I think as you very rightly said, Pooja, uh, Greenland is ground zero for the climate crisis. 80% of Greenland is really ice, which is up to two miles thick. Um, well, the, the local people are very concerned because, um, you know, they realize that uh, there are drastic changes that are happening um, and which is even affecting their lifestyle. Uh, Dia mentioned about, you know, the sea ice not freezing for the past seven winters and um, not being able to go out seal hunting. But we also saw that a lot, lot of glaciers were carving out um, icebergs. The number of icebergs there, we were told by the Eskimos, has, has increased substantially. And we were also lucky in that we were able to meet with some scientists, American scientists, who were taking out these core ice samples. Uh, from the Greenland ice cap and studying them for greenhouse gas emissions of carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide. And they were actually quite surprised when they started drilling. At 10 meters, they found water. And then again at 26 meters, they found water, which has never really happened in the past. So it's all happening in Greenland. And I think um, we, 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 we need to realize really that um, the environment is like a baton that we hand over from generation to generation and um, you know um, we really um, should follow the business principle of the environment uh, which is to really live off the interest as far as the environment is concerned and to leave the principal amount completely untouched and also is there a green message that you have as your father said that now instead of the three hours that we are promoting you have five hours um, there's another R which is refuse, as in, you know, you don't unnecessarily don't waste. So you can refuse to um, overconsume and also rethink because we all have to rethink our ways of living and go green. Yeah. Re re rethink the way uh, we humans are living life on, on, on this planet. Thank you so much. So there you are. Rethink, refuse and in case you can't, then recycle.
Thanks a lot for that. A fantastic achievement skiing across the Greenland ice cap with the Greenathon flag must in their hand. Must have been hand. fun also. Oh, must have been real <laughs> fun as well. Okay, we're going to take a very quick break. Lots more still to come. Don't go away. Save the greenery. Save the greenery. What the...